Hello everybody, welcome to Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff and I'm your host. In this video we're going to take a look at a CNC project called the Rose Vase. This is a project that I downloaded for free from a company called Vectric that makes a software for CNC machines. It is the illustrating, if you will, or designing software for CNC users. Make a whole bunch of great products. They've got the Photocarve, the Cut 3D, the VCarve, the Aspire. If you are up in the air about a software to get for your CNC machine to do the designing, look no further. Vectric, Vectric is the software. Now, um, this particular project they send out a monthly newsletter, Vectric does, through the email. You get the monthly newsletter. In the newsletter, they have downloadable free projects. They also have a real cool archive of older projects that you can also download and cut on your CNC machine. So I don't know if you're a little bit like me, but one of the hardest things to do is to design the project itself. They come up with a lot of cool designs that you can then take what they show you, the techniques that they show you, and then create your own designs or cut it out exactly as they have it in the model. So, uh, without further ado, here it is, the Rose Vase Vectric software. Have a look. Okay, so we have some four-quarter stock here that we need to get planed down to three-quarters of an inch. And so we'll take it here and run it through the DeWalt 13 and a half inch planer. taking a 32nd of an inch or so off at a time um, here I probably took a little bit too much as it uh, struggled a little bit to plane this particular piece and so we'll fast forward here a little bit uh, as we got closer to the three quarters of an inch you see the calipers there that we're going to use to uh, verify that in fact we do have it to three quarters and it's not the three quarters of an inch is not critical here as you'll see when we begin to machine this part for the the rose vase it's not absolutely critical uh, as you'll see here I got uh, well within a 32nd of an inch of that three quarters and uh, it's gonna take one last finishing pass here verify that I've got my three quarters of an inch for the uh, inside and outside of the base and I do and so we'll move on to the next step okay this is the Vectrex software that I spoke so highly of and here you see it recreating if you will or creating the tool paths that will ultimately feed into our CNC software and look at the definition that that has and I will tell you that what you see on the screen is what you will get with your wood it's that exact and so here we are seeing the finishing cut and the profile cut out here just absolutely amazing then we come over to our CNC software. I tend to use Mach 3, and we open up the dialog box to import the, the tool paths we just created. And we select the tool path from the folder, import it into the software, and there you go. Mach 3 is ready to run. And then we come over to the CNC machine. We set the bit to the lower left corner, which is our target zero. Zero the Mach 3 software, turn the spindle on, and we are ready for action. And so now we will do the rough out tool paths. It'll cut both the front and the back of the rose base during the rough out tool path process. And then you will see next the finishing tool path process and ultimately the cutout tool path process. And then I'll show you some pictures of the final product at the end. But this is just amazing how this, uh, this all comes together. So enjoy the next couple of minutes and watch the CNC machine in action. And I thank you again for watching.
Okay, I'm back. Thank you very much for hanging in there and watching the rough out tool cut and the uh, finishing tool path. Here we are with an 8 inch tapered ball nose tool doing the finishing cut as it moves along here. And uh, you can see there, just like we saw at the very beginning of the video, the smoothness of the texture of the wood and the uh, how clean it is. So now we transition into the actual profile cutout tool path. And this is where it literally goes around the outside edge and cuts it out. And that's why I said at the beginning that it's not the size of the uh, thickness of the stock is not that critical because you can always make the adjustment here for a few thousandths if you have to tell the your Vectrex software to cut a little bit deeper uh, a couple of thousandths even a, a half an inch is not that big of a deal so uh, once it's gonna go around its last time it speeds up a little bit here that's not me speeding it up that's the machine and as it's going through here it cuts out little tabs or it leaves little tabs in the wood so the wood doesn't shift while the bit is going around which you'll see in this uh, in the last photograph here so I want to thank everybody for hanging in there with me there's so much I want to bring you so many tutorials on Vectrek and Mach 3 and uh, there's the cutout tool pads and then ultimately we'll have the finished product but thanks again I really thank you for watching and again we'll be bringing you some more tutorials this is the finished rose vase work against the grain my name is Jeff.